Okay guys, here we are again. I got a chance to go out again this weekend. So I'm gonna make as many videos as I can when I get a chance. We're doing something totally different. I am not gonna throw a throw line in the tree this time. I'm going to experiment with the MFJ adjustable manual tuner. I've heard, and I saw another video, that that tuner will tune anything. You know, I know it doesn't really work like that. I get it, but I heard it will tune anything. So we're gonna work on that premise. I saw another video that did this a while back. Basically what they did was they took a wire to the tuner and they just connected it to a backstop, like a like a baseball backstop, and they used that as the, the antenna. And so this is an experiment. Guys, if I can make a contact using the backstop from a baseball fence, I would like to know, I want to know how good is it, you know, does it, first of all, does it even work, can I make a contact, and if it's really good, this might be an easier way to set up. What if you didn't have an antenna, but you went out and found them? What if you could just use the bleachers, or this bridge that's around us? What if you could just hook up to something that's electrical? I know it's not ideal, of course I know that. Okay, so on our drive, let's talk about cameras. Let me, I told you earlier in a previous video that this 360 Verb camera, it was a couple times now, I was videotaping and then one of the cameras, there's two of them on there, one of them just turned purple, okay? For, so half the video was just purple. It made me mad, I thought, oh great, you know, I'm gonna have to send this back, it's an expensive camera. Well, I started doing some research and I thought, well, maybe my SD card is not good enough. And I thought I had, I knew it had to have a high speed card, but it has, to, it has to have like an extra special card. And I don't know what these cards are, but it has to have like this UIC. So I ran out and I got a 64 gigabyte card that was on Garmin's website. They tell you ones that have been proven to work. And so I got the ones on the list. It actually had like UIC U3 or something. So I actually matched up the one that said that worked, and it's been working perfectly since then. Check out, the police are shooting a deer. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Did you see that? The police just shot a deer. What the fuck? Did you see that? I got that on camera. Rewind it and go and look to my left. The police, I was like, the police is shooting something. He just shot a deer. What? Huh. I'm glad I turned the camera on. What? What? Man, you never know what you're going to get when you go out exploring. There's another police car coming. I don't know why, but I thought, I thought they were like patrolling the area and I saw a police car, so I turned the camera on just to catch it. Sure enough, bang. Oh, that was weird. So I guess maybe that deer was a danger or something. He was sick. Maybe he was sick. I bet you. I bet you he was sick. He probably got attacked or something. There's a lot of coyotes around here. I bet you anything. I bet you anything that a coyote attacked him. He was probably already lame. And a coyote attacked him and he was hurt really bad. But I didn't think the police could just come out and shoot, shoot deer like Okay, hopefully you can see this. Here's what we got going on. I've got the MFJ 971 manual tuner. Okay, I took a pair of uh, some speaker wire and I s split it in half, because it comes in two, and I put a banana plug here in the antenna. Okay, on the other end I have an alligator clip. I'm gonna attach that to this fence right here and hopefully turn this into an antenna. Uh, here's my cable to my radio and for the counterpoise, I'm using the uh, super antenna counterpoise, which is a group of wires that come cut specifically to length so the super antenna will work. So this has, you know, it's got a short piece and a long piece, and I don't have it spread out radially. I have it just kind of thrown out just to see if it'll work. I'm gonna go connect this right now to the fence. If this works, I swear I'm gonna be so happy and impressed and shocked. Shocked.
Check it out. Looks like I got a visitor. Hey. some wires on the ground so watch out I just have some wires there I'm okay. doing a radio yeah. so I was able to get it to tune uh, it took a long time and I'm, I get a little confused because there's two antenna tuners there's this one and that one and they don't match up so it makes you wonder which one do you use obviously you want to use this one and you want it to this is this right now by the way look how well that's tuned there's like one SWR bar 10 watts this one says there's a lot of reflected, but as soon as I change that, it changes this. So it gets a little confusing, I'm not sure. As long as the radio's not seeing uh, any problems, then it's kind of hard to get them both in balance with two t antenna tuners. The good news is I do hear a lot of uh, traffic. I hear a lot of stations. I am using that as an antenna right now, in theory. Sorry for the wind noise. Now if you can look behind you and see, I was able to get both of these on 40 meters. I was able to both of them get uh, a low SWR. It's not the best time for 40 meters, but um, I thought I'd try a different band. But let's see if I can get anything on this. So both of them are putting out power and not much reflected. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but watch when I transmit. The SWR on this radio, very low until I moved it. It's very low here, and it's very low here, and I'm putting out 10 watts. Very good. If I'm just going to camp out here because it's very fidgety. So if there's one thing I'd have to say about this is it's very hard to tune, obviously. Uh, it takes a lot of time to tune, but at least you don't have to mess with trees and stuff. I'm going to camp out here and see what happens. So I've been sitting here for a long time and calling CQ, CQ a long time. I went out to the reverse reverse beacon network. Thank you, Ron C, for letting me know about that. Uh, and I, I see that I'm getting out. So I see my 7.039 out there. I'm getting out for sure. Other people are hearing me, but no one's responding. I'm probably really weak. Um, I really believe this would work. I really think this would work. It's not gonna be good. Um, I probably had three, I would probably have three QSOs now if I just used a wire. But this is an experiment. So let me know in the comments what you think. Should I do this again and try to make a contact? It could be the bands. For all I know, the bands are really bad right now. Actually, I don't hear much activity out there. The reason I'm on 40 meters right now is the only thing I can get to tune between the two. Anything else, I can't get both of them to semi tune. That's why I'm doing 40 meters. It's not the best time for that, but that's what I'm doing. I wanted to try and show you how well this is tuning up now on 7039. See, I've got one bar here, SWR, very low, very good, 10 watts. Look at that, forward, the forward is going crazy up there. The, reflect, the reflected is very, the reflected is very low. I'm getting out there. I know I am. Nobody's responding though. Sunday morning. Okay, let me summarize uh, my thoughts on that. First of all, it's very difficult to tune. Obviously, it is. It's harder than I even thought. Uh, trying to get the, both the tuner and the radio to tune together is very difficult. I could only really do that on 40 meters. I called CQ, CQ over and over and over and over, and nobody heard me. Pretty sure nobody heard me. However, I mean an actual person coming back to me. However, I go on the reverse beacon network and I see that I am getting out. A lot of people 
who have who have these uh, whatever they wherever they are they're reverse beacons they can hear me so I, I do believe this would work um, in the of course my signal is going to be weak of course this is going to be very difficult I didn't think it would work at all but that's the experiment um, the problem with doing that is that it's it takes so much effort to tune I was constantly constantly tuning it's just it's kind of a pain to do especially with the low reward of you're not getting a contact I would call it a success but I wish I would have made a contact anyway that's that uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to try that again try to make a contact I might go somewhere else also I want to say I have to disclaim things because I get so much feedback and sometimes it's not so good I know there are a million variables there's a variable I was sitting on a metal chair my uh, counterpoises weren't put out uh, spread out perfectly uh, connecting to a fence is not a good idea um, I always would lower my power before I would tune it I would lower it down to two or three watts I wouldn't just uh, jump up to 10 watts you know I wasn't doing that I knew I know better than that now that, that's my disclaimer I put my disclaimer at the end because you get a lot of feedback all right that's that talk to you later